Hello and welcome to another episode of Mini Chat's hottest YouTube series, Mini Chat to the Max. I'm your all-time host, never been anyone else, Max Gibbons. As an expert, I know all about this stuff. I'm no dummy. You know who the real dummies are? People not taking advantage of analytics to track conversions and other events right inside of ManyChat. That's right. With the introduction of ManyChat analytics, you can gather valuable info on customer behavior and use that data to make informed decisions about marketing campaigns and more. Let's get this party started. At the moment, ManyChat analytics supports five types of conversions. There are three that are automatic, and two you can customize to fit your needs. First up is buy button conversions. ManyChat analytics will automatically identify in messenger purchases through a buy button as a conversion, logging the total cart value as earned revenue for the flow where that purchase happened. Use this conversion type to determine which flows are bringing you the most revenue from right inside of messenger. Another conversion type is contact collection. So anytime you collect an email address or phone number as a system field, it counts as a conversion in that flow. So this way you can look at all the flows where you collect contact info and help you figure out which is working best for you. So the best way to gather contact info is with the user input step. So you wanna make sure you toggle on the system field option and confirm your subscriber consent to receive messages on another channel. So in this case, add in a phone number. Okay, so save phone the custom field. Da -da -da. Looks good. ManyChat will automatically record revenue when someone clicks through on a flow that starts by using the Shopify abandoned cart trigger. This will help you quickly tally revenue that you rescue using ManyChat's Shopify integration. It's pretty cool. Action step conversions are super flexible. You can insert them anywhere an action step would normally go. You can assign a revenue value if you want. One tip is to use these action step conversions to record key moments and flows that you want to quickly compare. They're really valuable for businesses that have more than one step in their conversion funnel. With the ManyChat Pixel, you can connect people who click through to your site from a button on Messenger to their actions on your website. So when subscribers convert on your site, it gets recorded and can be attributed to the flow that they came from. So pixel conversions are great if you're only able to sell your product or service on your own website. Now you can connect those conversions directly to the flow that prompted them. And remember, just like action steps, a pixel conversion doesn't have to be a sale. It could be filling out a lead form or viewing a certain page that indicates interest to convert in the future. So get started by going to automation, pixel, and grabbing your pixel code. Now this is a simple JavaScript embed You'll see these for Google Analytics, you know, for just about everything. And depending on your site, the installation is going to be different. I'll show you how to quickly do it in Shopify. So you'll log into your Shopify store, click on online store, then themes. Then over here next to your live theme, you're going to want to hit edit code. It might be worth your while, by the way, to make a backup of your theme before you do this. Um, so we'll head down to sections. And for our purposes, and frankly, for just about any other purchase, you're gonna wanna embed the code for any other purpose. You're gonna wanna embed the code into the header.liquid. So we're gonna scroll down here till we get to the div section, um, cause that's where the party gets started. So your mileage may vary on where exactly you'll embed this code, but in Shopify, you'll always gonna to wanna to go with that header.liquid. Uh, WordPress, other platforms have their own method. Um, and you can go to our support page for a few tips on that, or Google how to embed a, a script into your header of your respective website. Now that you've got conversions all set up and happy, it's time to take a look at what's working and what isn't. You'll see sprinkled about the platform some new items on dashboards, as well as an entirely new metrics dashboard. There's a whole lot more to the analysis side of the equation here, and we'll be taking a closer look at this with you in the future, so stay tuned. Well, that's a wrap. Thanks for sitting along with me, Max Gibbons, your host from every video, all the time. When we first dreamed up ManyChat Analytics, 
we set out to build a system that would highlight key information like revenue generated, contact data collected, and overall interaction rates. And we're hard at work, making it even more robust, so stay tuned for more from us. April Fools, you dummies.